What's up? Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. So, do you have anything you want to say before we really get started? Um, don't think so, no. You're from Georgia, right? Yep. That's pretty cool. Where in Georgia? Um, Smona. Okay. Nice. So, are you, where are you from? I'm from Belgium. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, um, if you do end up running professionally, would you represent Belgium or America? Yeah. No, Belgium. Belgium, yeah, because like... Okay. Your nationality never changes. Yeah. Okay. So why did you start running? Um, I mean, I started running when I was like, mm, I think around the age of like 12. It's like the local club near my house. And like, mm. I liked it. Like, it's so around like general stuff, like with drills and like other events from track. And, and I don't know, I kind of liked it. And then throughout high school, I, I liked it even more. And then I like really got into running because that was kind of what I was best at. And like, I wasn't very good in other track events, like high jump and stuff. I was not good. It was kind of clear early that I was like more of a runner than anything else. So I, I picked like middle distance slash distance sometimes as my main event. Mm. So do you have like an inspiration? Um, hmm. I mean, honestly, like back in like, what was it like? 2014 or something i used to be a big fan of like matthew centrowitz honestly mm -hmm. so um, um with matthew centrowitz um how do you think his like performance has been recently i mean yeah but like that's the thing if you're at such an elite level like it's mm -hmm. hard to like maintain like that for years like you know yeah. the yeah. the down so, like the ups and downs be become like bigger downs you know yeah like, with injuries and stuff, like he's, I heard he had surgery and stuff, so it's like, yeah, it sucks because he's. I think he's really good, but yeah, I mean, they never will take away an Olympic gold, so that's what I kind of admire in him. Mm. So, how long have you been running for? Like around um, how many years? I've been like, mm, like running like about ten years now, I think. <laughs> so, when you started running, were you always like pretty decent at it, or? It no, no, actually, I, I wasn't. I wasn't that good at all. Like until my sophomore year of college. Mm. Like it just took a long time to develop. Um, I wasn't very good at all. I also like, take it serious, you know. Mm. So, how has your training compared from like high school to college, or like before oh, college? Oh, so different. It's so different. Like in high school, I was. It was just like it was. Um, it was like a hobby, you know, like mm -hmm. I would go to like twice a week just to like keep myself busy. Um, and like I would run maybe once like outside of it, like I'd run like three times a week in high school. And uh, I mean, in, in college, that's when I really started training with like a coach and like starting following and plan and like, you know, like we would we would schedule races. And while in high school, I would just like decide to go and race in the moment and be like, oh yeah, let's go race. There was there's not a plan behind it. It was more like in college there was like, oh like we'll we'll schedule everything like geared towards performance more than like the fun of it. It's still fun, but um definitely performance has like came in more. So what has you been your favorite race that you've done so far? Oh, that's a hard one. Um I've done so many races and it's like hard to pick a favorite one. But um, I think I think the NCAA um, 1500 final is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, I think it's that one. So I have a feeling I already know what your favorite event is, but is your favorite event something else than like the mile 15? No, no, no. no. Has that always been your favorite event? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to run the 800 a little bit in high school. Mm -hmm. And then, like, mid through high school, I started the 1500. And I was like, never got away from it again. I still used to, I still used to run a little bit of eight back then, kind of chipped the eight out of it and did a little bit of like 3K kind of stuff. And then every now and then I ran a 5K. Um, but I haven't ran 5K in a while. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, no, I've been very, very, very purely focused on miler, miler 15 work. 
So, what has your training look like recently, like mileage wise? Um, so obviously now I'm injured, uh, yeah. so I'm just like working my ass off on the bike, um, mm-hmm. and soon to be in the pool and elliptical as my injury heals along the way. But um, yeah, I'm I'm definitely more of a mileage guy for um for a 1500 runner. I run about like a good training week for me would be like around 80 miles a week with usually two quality sessions and one long run. So on Tuesday, we'd, we'd do a quality work, like tempo work. And then Friday, we'd do either tempo work or quality work. And on Sunday, we'd do a long run with like some like speed development on a Thursday um, to kind of hit that top speed a little bit in like very short reps. Um, so yeah, it's very, it's a very different week every week kind of work ad wise because i think me training as like more of a 5k guy and then sometimes dropping down to like 800 work if you're getting ready for a championship mm-hmm. makes it very interesting so do you do any like training outside of like running like strength training cross training any of that um i used to never cross train but obviously now that i'm injured yeah. for the first time in like a long time i'm, I'm kind of half to cross train in order to stay a little bit fit or I'm, I'm just ruining my season, but, um, no, we, we go to the weight room twice a week, um, on our workout days. And, uh, I'm also like working with our like trainers. So athletic trainers that like help you with like injuries and like medical stuff and weaknesses. Um, I work twice a week with them kind of ha- half like one on one to like strengthening some weaker parts of my body is like glutes and quads and everything and just like, stay healthy and get some treatment. So what's your favorite form of cross training out of like biking, swimming and elliptical? If I had to choose, yeah. um, probably with like elliptical most because it's like closest to the running motion. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I like aqua jogging because it's the running motion, but I don't like the water. I mean, I, I think it's cold. Like I don't yeah. like it as much. I just think it's a little cold. So on a non running topic, what are like three random facts about you? Um, Random fact is like I'm a vegetarian. Oh, same. Oh, really? That's pretty, yeah. that's pretty cool. No, I think it's I think there's more and more distance runners and like just people in general that get vegetarian. I think I think it's healthy lifestyle. Um, another fact about me is um, I'm pretty tall. I'm like six foot three. Mm. Um. Which they always said, like, maybe you should go play basketball, but I'm not that good at basketball. <laughs> um, another random fact, let me think. Um, I have two wiener dogs. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, with being vegetarian, why did you become a vegetarian? Um, so, I actually became vegetarian because I moved to the United States for college, like, <laughs> a year mm-hmm. and a half ago. And I, like, kind of found out that I think the meat quality isn't always appropriate in the United States. Definitely yeah. not. Like, definitely not like I'm used to back home. So I decided to try out if I can go without it. And, um, yeah, hasn't gone back to it ever since. Um, I feel better. Uh, and, like, in general, there's just too much meat consumption in the world where I'm, like, if I can, you know, consume nothing – that makes up for a little bit for the overconsumption yeah. that there is. So do you have any pre-race rituals that you feel like you have to do? Um, nothing, like, in particular. I just like to go in a race, like, being confident, being focused, and, like, healthy, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I, I, I race at my best when I'm convinced that it's going to go well and when I see no reason for it not to go well. Because if your training's been right, you've been doing everything you can, like, it will go your way, or, like, it should go your way. <clears throat> yeah. So, when you first broke full, how was it, and, like, how did you feel afterwards? Um, I was actually quite recently, so, because I'm from Europe, mm-hmm. we never run the mile. I never yeah. ran the mile before coming up to the state. so, like, if you take equivalence into consideration, I'd broken, like, four, like, multiple years before I actually broke four. But, yeah. I mean, the breaking of it is very cool, obviously, because it's more of, like, for example, like, people on my own team, like, they, they would laugh at me for, like, oh, there's this guy who's, like, pretty mm-hmm. decent at the 15, but he's never broken four in a mile. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. So um, not never on paper. So I was very glad I could like take that one off my bo- my bucket list. And um, yeah, I mean it was a crazy race because they won in three fifty, which is like the yeah. Olympic standard. Um, second collegiate all time came out of that race, and I was second at the collegians to that guy, which is like definitely mm-hmm. very special. It's a school record here at Wake Forest where I go. And so it's like, it's pretty cool, you know, like looking back at it. So why did you choose to go to Wake Forest? So I got recruited by them. I mean, I had like some coaches reaching out like along the way during my high school and my college career because I did my undergrad back home. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just felt like I had a connection with the Wake Forest coach from the start. I think it was a very cool area. Uh, they had something really good going on um, distance running wise. Obviously, like the with the pinnacle being uh, the team getting fifth at NCAA cross country, race for a school like Wake Forest is definitely a huge achievement. Like we only finished nine sec nine points behind Stanford, which was like yeah. it was great. Like it was everything. And we knew we could have done better because um, I mean I I came into the race sick there. I had mm-hmm. um, I had shingles there, so mm-hmm. and I also fell like less than half a mile into the race, so I had to work my way up. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's multiple reasons why we think that the nine points could have been overcome, but we're still proud to come fifth. And I think that kind of, kind of shows like why that, that the reason I came here, because I believe that something like that would have been possible. And I wanted to like contribute to that. And I just got along with the coach from the start very well. And that's still the case. So I'm just really happy to be here, honestly. So, um, post collegiate, do you want to run professionally? Yeah, no, I do. I am like, obviously, since I'm graduating and like I'm out of eligibility right now, like mm-hmm. soon to be, I'm looking to, looking to see if I can you know, stay in the United States. Cause I think running is just, a, there's a better setup for running in the United States than back mm-hmm. in Europe, for example. And joining a professional training group, um, I think that'd be good for my career and maybe I can step it up a notch and take it to the next level. If you did run, if you do run professionally, who would you want to be sponsored by? Honestly, same with college recruiting, just whoever I feel my best with, whoever I feel supported by, and whoever I believe that will be a partner for me in, in, in my kind of path to wherever. So on a pretty similar topic, in your opinion, what is the best trainer, road racer, and spike? Mm. I mean, we're in Nike school here, mm-hmm. so I like solely run with Nike. But I think, from a spike perspective, like I think every brand at this point caught up to the Dragonfly, and like I do race from Dragonfly myself in the victory. I do believe as well that there's plenty of good spikes out there, and and it's just whatever like it's most comfortable for you, whatever you think you can run the fastest in. And I honestly don't mind right now. I have to wear Nike. But in a couple months from now, I won't have to wear Nike, so I'll wear whatever it's been given to me and like yeah. whatever I believe in will help me. So, who is it? Do you have a favorite professional runner or like some pro runner you look up to? Mm, I mean, I'm definitely beyond the point of like looking up to someone because yeah. I mean, I'm 23. You're up there with everybody else too. Sorry. You're already up there with, like, most of the pro runners. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I want to avoid, like, creating a situation for myself where I'm looking up to this runner, and then at yeah. some point I'm going to have to race him, which puts me in yeah. a huge state advantage. But I think, I, I think like, not from a running standpoint, there's some, definitely, like, some cool characters out there. I think there's some people who are very good for the sport, and I think we just got to, like, you know, um, appreciate them more than, than how we do it, you know, like... Um, yeah, I think everybody's building some, some really good things out there. So, um, do you have any like total goals you want to achieve by the end of your running career? Um, I mean, obviously, I like my main goal is to make an Olympic team. Um, yeah, I think I think that's like everybody that should be like everybody's goal is running competitive. It's like at the end of the ride, like you should aim for that. I think it's the highest yeah. honor you can get because one, you're representing your country and two, you're doing that like or an event that only takes place like every four years. So you only have like one to two shots, let's say two shots during an active career, but then you have to like run like pretty decent for eight years. 
it's a long time with like injury and motivation and everything, you know. But no, I definitely the Olympics. And um, if you if you're looking time wise, like just run national records. I think just any Belgian record I can get on my name would be a huge achievement for me. And just to be the fastest in hopefully a mile or a fifteen hundred or a three k or something like that to be ever to be Belgian would be a very big honor to me. So when you get like a bit older, like, would, do you have a plan to change like events? Like a lot of people will move up to a marathon, but maybe like just move up to like 5k or anything. Eventually. Yeah. I think for me, for now, the next four to five years, I will focus on, um, on the 1500. You know, because I think there's definitely a lot more to gain, like experience to gain. You can only get better. But I'll run, like, simultaneously, we'll run, like, some more 5Ks and, and see if if there's anything for me there. But um, I will continue running the 1500 at a championship for the next, like, four or five years, three to four or five, something like that. I mean, my, my goal is still to make the LA Olympics in the 1500. So... So I don't have any more questions for you, but if you have any questions for me or anything like that, I'd be happy to answer them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you should. You so you're from Georgia. And, yes. Um, you run track, I assume, right? Yes, track and cross country. Track and cross country at your high school or? I'm middle school. You're a middle schooler. I mean, that's awesome. Like, you have been like, I mean, this may be a little far ahead, but you got any like dream colleges you want to go to or? So, right now, I really do think Wake Forest would be a great school. But, like, also, I feel like it would always just be cool to go to Oregon just because of the, like, history. Yeah. No, I, I so, because I went to the NCAA, like, championship, like, I got to mm-hmm. see the facilities of Oregon. And it's just next level, you know. Like, you feel like yeah. it's so much bigger than um than anything else, you know. It's like, wow. No, I mean, what are your events? You run the 3,200, I assume, or? 3,200, 1,600. I tried the 800, but it was a bit too short for me. You're, you're a fan of Tim and Elite? Yes. Yeah, I can see it. I saw your sweater. Sorry. I was like, damn. I mean, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. well, that brings me to actually another question I just thought of. Do you watch, like, Tim and Elite or, like, New Generation Track and Field? And if yeah, so, I mean, like not better. all the time, not mm-hmm. all the time, but I do every now and then, like, like, you know, it, it, it comes up on my feet and like, mm-hmm. um, I watch a video or two or like, I just, you know, definitely I'm in the loop of what's going on. I feel like, you know, like if something like big comes out, I, I've definitely seen it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't see there's any reason why not. So, thank you so much for doing this with me. It was a very fun experience for me. Yeah, I no hope problem. You have- no problem, yeah. Um, I mean, it's just that you got to stay motivated, right? Yep. Because if you want to go to Wake Forest and mm-hmm. run well and, and do well in school, you know? Yep. So, mm-hmm. thanks again. No problem. Um, hope to see you feeling better with the injury. Yeah, no, that, it will take a, a little bit, but... um. I think in the next like couple of weeks that will um that will definitely evolve and get better. You know, like a body heals pretty fast if if your mind allows it. And um, yeah, yeah, I know. If there's anything I can do for you, just reach out to me. And um, yeah. Okay. Good off, Sounds, you know? good. Sounds good. Good weekend. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Bye.